Hello, I will be talking about Masterware 3D FFD based T-former for large area in-painting on the Bratz Crioma data set. This work has been done by the Bratz, uh, Kurt Lev Bratz team. So uh, we uh, distributed the Bratz Crioma data set into training set and validation set. Training set had about 1,200 training samples and the validation set had about 200 tra uh, validation samples. Uh, we used randomly uh, generated masks uh, using various masking algorithms and uh, for the healthy tissue region only and applied random spatial augmentations during training on the fly. Uh, we tested various methods such as attention unit for baseline testing, gated linear attention for efficient uh, implementation of vision, of vision transformers, and uh, self-gated for your operators to enhance global contextual understanding. We also further tested uh, GANs uh, for our implementation and we tested GROKFAST which is a new algorithm that allows for accelerated training and uh, convergence. Um, the 3D attention uh, a, a, a unit integrates um, attention gates into the skip connections of a standard unit. Uh, this seems to improve Im image reconstruction. Uh, so we tried two training strategies. One was supervised approach and the other was a conditional GANs framework. Uh, the supervised approach used a combination of L1 loss, SSIM loss, canny edge loss, and a mass-focused MSC. Uh, the mass focus MSC is just uh, MSC for only bra the brain region, ignoring everything outside the brain. Uh, the canny edge loss uh, detects uh, regions where there is shift in high intensity, and then we use that to reconstruct a map of the edges of the brain and apply uh, whatever loss function we use. In, in our case, we used uh, L2 loss. And uh, for uh, for conditional GANs, we use the same loss function for training the model. In addition, a simple uh, a deco uh, encoder model uh, with a conditional GANs uh, loss function. In our case, we use Wasserstein uh, objective with gradient penalty uh, to train the conditional GANs. Um, both mo uh, both uh, frameworks were trained for 1500 uh, epochs and uh, hyperparameters were used from previous work and our own empirical testing. Um, the T-former architecture uses linearized attention. Um, this is done by uh, changing the order of operation uh, of QKV calculation within the attention framework. Um, in this paper, they used the uh, Taylor series approximation to do this. Uh, Doing this also introduces a residual uh, term, uh, which is a simple uh, addition to the QKV formula. Um, the linear attention mechanism achieves much better computational complexity in spatial resolution, making it more uh, efficient for high resolution images, especially 3D data set. Um, using gated attention instead of softmax also enhances the focus on relevant features for in-painting uh, and it further reduces computational complexity. Um, so uh, this model is still able to achieve state-of-the-art accuracy while maintaining very low computational overhead and we validated this through our empirical testing as well. Uh, it is also designed to balance texture pattern learning with global feature modeling, resulting in high quality in painting outputs. Uh, we also introduce a self-gated Fourier operator. This essentially enables the model to better capture global contextual information, contributing to refined image uh, completion results. Um, this, uh, this operator essentially integrates the Fourier transformer uh, with a self-learning gate um, instead of using a simple low-pass filter so that the model can figure out which uh, frequencies are the most important and uh, 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 modify them accordingly. Mask-aware 3D transformer is the 
model that we propose, which integrates basically everything we've talked about so far. Uh, it combines the 3D gated linear attention and self gated Fourier operator into a unit based deformer architecture. Masks for avoided region is also attenuated by noise and embedded in the latent space uh, to preserve the stochastic behavior of a model. Um, so we, uh, we further trained two variants of this model. Um, the, there was the vanilla gated attention, which uses the uh, linear attention mechanism straight out of the paper. And the other one was our uh, uh, Fourier operator uh, version of the linear gated attention. The figure here shows uh, the uh, model in much more detail. Uh, this model itself was trained within a GANS framework. So the proposed model was again trained uh, in the GANS framework from attention unit. And further to accelerate training, we implement a GROKFAST algorithm, uh, which uh, basically ex uh, amplifies low varying gradients uh, that are important for optimization uh, during the backpropagation process. And here is the algorithm for GROKFAST. So quickly summarizing the results, uh, the impainted regions for all trained models were post-processed using contrast matching within the voxels inside the brain, immediately surrounding the mass region. The depth of this was also a hyperparameter that we had to optimize. Um, this post-processing significantly improved performance as expected uh, in terms of the validation metrics. Uh, GROKFAST did improve model conversion significantly, leading to much faster training. Uh, including GANs also yielded marginally better results, but the addition of extensive time spent on optimizing the GANs hyperparameters might not be justifiable in a competition setting, especially if you're starting from scratch. Uh, the our proposed model also achieved performance comparable to our baseline attention um, uh, model, though due to time constraints, we weren't able to completely finish the training and they never converged. Uh, so thank you very much for listening and I uh, hope you have a nice day.